What we're doing here for a customer at the moment is uh, this we brought in, this is a disc brake and this is the shaft it runs on. Right now it doesn't work anymore. This is from a very old snow machine, uh, like a snow machine on tracks where you sit in a sled behind it and the snow machine has tracks within two handles, self-driven and this is the brake system. It's very old, uh, probably around 60 years old and we're gonna make this work. So we're designing something about this as well. So, new job, new challenge. We took some dimensions, we took some information from the customer um, about this little job. So this is what it is here. This brake for a very old machine. Obviously, it doesn't work. So this is the disc, the brake goes on the outside and then uh, holds it there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make some measurements and see where we're at. That was the washer the bolt, goes on the end. This is of course all destroyed. So we're going to machine this down. So we're going to take some measurements. I want to know what the diameter is of the shaft. Interesting metric. It's metric. So now we know it's a, not a North American design. So, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to make a, a beautiful bushing uh, to hold this disc tight on the shaft and then with a washer and a bolt we're going to uh, lock that in place. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to just take some measurement and start designing the, the bushing with the keyway that the disc is going to be bolted to and that's going to be slide slid on the shaft. The shaft is going to have a keyway as well and then that's going to be so see that in the last movie what I came up with but I know what I want to do take care So here we now at the end of the little job for that uh, disc brake. So we've made all the parts. So I got the shaft modified. As you can see, I machined the knurling down and I put a little keyway in there. That is a, a 316 keyway. I made a little key. Don't drop it because you'll never find it back if you have a dirty floor. So that's key has to go in here. I should so. There. See? The key is in there. And then I built a bushing. Here's the bushing. It's got a flange and it's got a keyway in there and two tapped holes. We tapped for metric six six millimeter by one pitch so that's what we did i put a black mark right there on the side how i want to put the disc so here's the the disc and i made a washer for the disc as you can see it's a very tight fit the m6 screws are already in there the bolts so we leave that in there but this is the washer and it has a tight hole for the center bolt, not too much play, as it has tight holes for the uh, metric six bolts that go through here. So what happened is we can put this one now on. And 
and we probably softly have to tap that. So let's see if I can get a rubber hammer on there. You see how the keyway starts to disappear? And we still have to go a bit further. There. We tapped that on. No play. It's a good snug fit. As you can see, this is how it sits. But now we have a nice face to put the disc on. So we make sure that the uh, marks are equal. The black mark on here and the black mark on here have to face towards the same holes. Yeah, and I can just put these on. There. Look at that. The uh, disc is starting to run pretty smooth. So now, I can tighten these. Of course, this whole assembly can still come off, right? Right now. But there it is. We reusing the bolt that came with it, with the lock washer, and put it on. And there we go. And there she is. I can turn this in the late and see if it runs through. But that's about it. So this is that little job. That works pretty good. That was it. Fine for now. Thanks for watching.